If there's been one insight and innovation in my research group over the last several years, it's simply been heart attacks are typically preceded by an inflammatory response in the arteries that feed the heart. Inflammation is a killer. Asthma, fibromyalgia, many forms of cancer. If there's been one insight and innovation in my research group over the last several years, it's simply been that we think depression belongs on this list. Depression is an inflammatory illness. Here's something many of you may not have walked in here knowing tonight. The inflamed brain is a depressed brain. Inflammation is powerfully capable of triggering depression. Well, what are we talking about with depression anyway? I bet most of you know, because you came to this talk tonight, but I'll bet many of you also know somebody who has a completely wrong idea of what we mean when we're talking about depressive illness, when we're talking about clinical depression. So what's the misunderstanding? What, what would people misunderstand if they heard someone say, oh, um, I'm battling depression? Yeah, many of my patients have been told exactly that. Get over it. Oh, yeah, this is your personality. You're just a slacker. Um, this is just something under your control. Say that again. Uh, okay. It might, yeah, it might, might be, you know, part of your per a trait of personality that even that you inherited, but, but not something terribly serious. What does depression mean as the term is used in everyday conversation? Not among us clinicians, not among um, treatment providers, but in every, if you heard somebody at Costco say, Sadness. sadness, exactly right, right? How long does it last? At most, maybe less, right? In other words, and, and what is it in reaction to? The slings and arrows of outrageous fortune? In other words, the human condition? In other words, if you live long enough, you can take it to the bank. At some point, we will all be sad, right? At some point, we will all be sad. It's kind of a sad thought. At some point, we will all be happy as well, <laughs> hopefully before we leave tonight. Um, that sadness is not what we clinicians mean by the term depression. And, and unfortunately, I believe, and maybe some of you can help me with this, I believe one of our biggest jobs, one of my biggest tasks as a depression researcher is helping the field come up with a better word for this illness. Because when we're talking about depressive illness, we're talking about something that's debilitating, that changes the functioning of the brain, changes the functioning of the body, changes our hormone function, robs us of the most restorative phase of sleep, robs us of our energy, robs us of our concentration, robs us of our memory, robs us of our ability to experience pleasure, lights up the brain's pain circuits. I had a patient not too long ago who told me about a good friend of his who was battling a form of cancer. It was um, Hodgkin's lymphoma, have you heard of it? Thank God it was curable. Mm -hmm. It was curable. So his friend is going through chemo for Hodgkin's. And it was brutal. He's going through chemo. And his hair falls out. Have you ever known somebody going through chemo? Hair falls out, he's nauseated, he's throwing up all the time. He feels like hell. He feels like he's gonna die. But he knows he's getting better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, while he's going through chemo, all of his friends and acquaintances and loved ones rally around him. And they're all like, oh, you're so brave. You poor guy. You know, this is so hard. We're here for you, buddy. You know, hang in there. People are saying, you know, hang in there. We're here for you. Nobody says snap really out of it. Caterpillar. Nobody says get over it. Where you gonna See where go? I'm going with this? This friend who was fighting Hodgkin's lymphoma, who had cancer, who was going through chemo, five years earlier had battled an episode of clinical depression. And so he tells my patient, guess what? <laughs> cancer is a walk in the park compared Are to depression. Okay? Oh, you found something to eat. Chemo 
is brutal, and yet I would take it any day of the week before I would take another episode of depression. Does that put a face on it for you?